if you're not constantly learning, you're dying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're a realtor or you're an entrepreneur and you're in a business and you're not always trying to figure out what's the next step, how can I get ahead of my competition? Somebody else is going to do that for you and they're going to be doing it better and probably figure out a way to do it cheaper as well. You should be constantly checking out conferences, talking to other peers, figuring out what's going on in the market. Think about it. In 2020, we were in 2021, we weren't allowed to do open houses. So we thought, oh, those will never come back. And then now it's changed. Now there's open houses again, so things have changed. But are you doing them differently then than you are now? 100% I am on a touch list. Like you walking in, you're scanning your phone as opposed to filling something out. You're not really touching a lot of things. I know everything has gone more digital now. And again, it's a way to evolve. My career and my, sorry, my business has changed tremendously since COVID. And I'm trying to obviously trying to put things into it every single time. And I'm taking that as a mindset of a business owner. I don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again. And if I see something cool that somebody else is doing, I'll ask them about it I'll tell, or her about it. I'll say like, how did you do that? You mind if we tweak it this way? I'll ask permission. Or if I see something else, I'll talk to other photographers, try to incorporate things from other businesses into my business to make it better and better for the whole, you know, for my clients and for the buyers or sellers as well that I'm working, you know, not working with it, I'm working with the other agent for. So yes, if you are not learning or changing every single day, you're dying, especially in the service industry.